Hello everyone, this is Vamsi from Codefer.com and today we are going to see about shared preferences in Android. So let's get started. Let's divide this topic into two parts. So first, we will be using slides to explain what is a shared preferences. And in the second part, we will be going through an example. So let's get started. So what are shared preferences? Shared preferences are a simple storage mechanism available in Android. Unlike SQLite, shared preferences are easy to store data into them. So uh, we can store a boolean, an integer, a float, etc. Uh, the best uses of shared preferences are as follows. So suppose if a user enters a data such as username and password, you need to store some uh, at some place so that whenever a user enters again, he don't need to enter that username and password again and again. Or suppose if you are playing a game and you want to store uh, a score uh, into some file. So that's where uh, we can use the shared preferences. So as we see, what are shared preferences? Shared preferences are just a key value pairs which are stored in an XML file. If we can know if we know a key we can access its value directly what are the data types supported by shared preferences currently boolean integer float long string all the primitive data types are being supported by shared preferences addition to that sets which consists of strings can be stored in shared preferences how to access shared preferences Shared preferences can be accessed by getting a handle to context. So we can get a handle of context in our fragments by using get activity method. So that uh, there is a method called get shared preferences in context, which accepts two parameters. One is a key and second is a mode. Key is just a string value, which Ever you uh, you are free to use whichever you want. Generally, we will be using a string stored in a strings.xml file as a key. And a mode is a type which tells that uh, whether your shared preferences should be accessed by other application or not. So there are different types of modes called mode underscore private mode underscore append mode enable right ahead logging mode no localized collators. There are different types of modes which you can see in our context uh, class documentation. As you can see, mode under mode append, mode enable, right head logging, and there are two other modes called mode world readable and mode world writable, which are deprecated as of now. So coming back, uh, how to write data to shared preferences? We can write the data to shared preferences using the following two lines. Uh, we need to get access to the editor interface, which is available in shared preferences. Uh, we can call directly uh, the instance of shared pref, uh, and the, we can call the edit method uh, in the second line as shown. So edit method uh, with this with this handle of editor. We can call the put in method which accepts two parameters. One is a key and other is a value. So I want to place my name uh, inside shared preferences. So I used my underscore key to store Bamsi Talapudi in editor. You know, shared preferences. Sorry. So how to read the same data from our shared preferences? Uh, first, we need to get the handle uh, means we need to get an instance. So shared pref is equal to get activity dot get preferences. So there is also a method called get shared preferences, uh, which we'll be using uh, for only one thing to be stored. We will use uh, get preferences. If you want multiple preferences to be show or stored, you will be using get shared preferences. String my name is equal to shared pref dot get string. Uh, if you want to put some other thing uh, such as boolean, 
we will be using get boolean uh, there are similarly there are other methods available in uh, shared preferences class which you can see uh, refer to via documentation so where is my data stored so our data will be stored in data slash data slash package name slash shared pref we'll look about this in detail when we are creating an example so that's it guys this is the first uh, tutorial explaining about shared preferences in the second video we will be seeing an example covering the shared preferences in detail if you like this video please hit the like button below if you didn't subscribe for this channel please do hit the subscribe button let's meet in the second video